What is up my friends? Welcome back to our video series here. Part 2, Washing Machine Settings Explained. As I mentioned in Part 1, there are three choices you have to make before you start that wash. Load size, also known as water level. Second choice, water temperature. And third choice, your washing cycle. In video one, I talked about load size, I talked about water temperature, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the washing cycles and how they work. Stick around. So there are three basic washing cycles all machines have. A washing cycle is the selection you select. It is the command you give that washing machine for how to wash your items, since you're not gonna be doing it by hand. Do you want your items treated sweet, soft, and tender like a succulent baby lamb? Or do you want the machine to beat the living daylights out of your clothes? Mm, mm, mm. Or do you want something in the middle? A little compromise, if you will. Those are your three basic washing cycles. Sweet, soft, and tender is your delicate cycle. Aggressive and rough is your normal cycle, also known as your regular cycle. And then the middle ground is what's called the permanent press cycle. A washing cycle does three things in general. It washes, uh, another word for it would be it agitates the clothes. It rinses and it dries, kind of. It spins to remove excess water so that the items are not soaking wet whenever you pull them out to put them in the dryer. And each cycle has a speed at which it agitates and a speed at which it spins. And the cycle you select will be based upon those two things, the speed of the agitation and the speed of the spin. If you have an older washing machine like me, then it'll say it right there on the machine. Here's an example, fast, slow meaning that it's gonna produce a fast, aggressive agitation and a slow spin speed. So let me break this down for you. The delicate cycle is the machine equivalent of hand washing. It is a sweet, soft, tender, affectionate, gentle cleaning. Delicate cycles use a slow, slow combination. So a slow agitation, a slow tumbling, a slow wash, right? And a slow spin speed to avoid any type of stretching or tearing of the items. The actual washing part lasts about four to seven minutes. This cycle is what you wash your delicate items on. The slow agitation is designed to be less abrasive, ensuring less wear and tear on those clothes. Unfortunately, it decreases the level of clean in a lot of circumstances. Personally, I recommend delicate cycles for clothes that you're not sure of. Start with delicate cycles and scale up from that point. In video one, I discussed what's considered delicate, so if you don't know what that is, then go check out video one. I'm not gonna repeat myself here for time's sake. Let's move right along. The permanent press cycle is your next step up. It uses a fast-slow combination, so fast, aggressive agitation, slow spin speed. The washing part lasts about seven to 10 minutes. This is used for your synthetics, your casuals, your polyesters, you know, your man-made fabrics, your rayon blends, your wrinkle-free clothing, etc. This is for your everyday clothes, basically. It minimizes wrinkles, it preserves wrinkle-free clothes. Great for dress pants, dress shirts, office wear, anything that wrinkles easily, this is a great cycle. Moving right along to the normal cycle, the regular cycle, it uses a fast, fast combination, fast aggressive agitation, fast spin speed. The washing part here lasts eight to 15 minutes. So this is what you'd use on your heavily soiled items, right? Your sweaty, your stained, your nasty, dirty clothes, okay? This is what you'd implement. And as a result of this combination, the clothes will come very clean. That is assuming you have your water temperature and your detergent correct as well. So there's three factors that's gonna determine the cleanliness of your clothes. That's your washing cycle, your detergent, and your water temperature. I should do a video on detergent sometime. Anyways. This cycle is for your durable clothes. So your cottons, your socks, your underwear, your linens, your bath towels, your jeans. The type of fabrics that can withstand this type of torment. <coughs> Treatment, I mean. If you own any type of modern washing machine, chances are it's gonna offer a host 
of what's called specialty cycles. Everything from brilliant whites to bulky items to sanitized to steam, etc. What makes specialty cycles a little bit different is some cycles will have like a, a pre-soak or some cycles may have longer agitation times or extra rinses, extra spins, extra washes. Some cycles will have uh, an allotted specific set time where you can add laundry boosters to the load. A few examples, you might have a cycle that has like a steam treatment. So the steam helps to fight the stains. Specifically, in this case, it would be oil-based stains or water-based stains, not protein-based stains. Also, steam cycles are used to remove wrinkles quicker. Another example, some washers will allow you to adjust the soil settings. So as you increase the soil level, it will increase the agitation time. And as you decrease the soil setting, it will decrease the agitation time. Some washers will allow you to manually adjust the spin speed, okay? So if you decrease the spin speed, you do that for your delicate items, and if you increase the spin speed, it'll just allow you to extract more water. A third example, some washers will offer what's called a sanitary cycle, and what this does is uses the heater of the washing machine to boost the temperature of the water to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So obviously this is going to help you to kill bacteria, kill germs, kill fungus, kill bugs if you need to kill bugs, hopefully not, hopefully not. Also it's really good for heavily soiled items, right? So uh, an example, maybe you were cleaning um, one of those cloth baby diapers. This would be a great cycle to use that on. Washing machines have come a long ways over the years, so you just have to find one that suits your needs based on how rambunctious you are. Or how rambunctious your kids are, I should say. Because I know you are cool, calm, and collected. In conclusion, I have given you the basics that will give you a foundation to build off of. Obviously, there's a lot of ambiguity when it comes to washing machines. So, for example, the word colors or whatever, it's going to vary greatly from machine to machine to machine. But as I've shown you, don't panic. There's only two things you need to know when you're selecting a cycle. And that's the speed of the agitation and the speed of the spend. That's it. All cycle selections are going to use that two-part combo. You just have to figure out the wording, okay, the words that your brand of washing machine likes to use. And that's where your owner's manual and your manufacturer's website come in handy. But in the end, all those different selections that are put in your face, right, are going to utilize, modify, build off of that two-part combo right there, okay? So if you get selection between whites, bulky, colors, jeans, activewear, towels, casuals, whatever they want to throw at you, just ask yourself, what combo are they using? What kind of a cycle is this going to be? Is it going to be a delicate cycle? Slow, slow? Is it going to be a, a normal cycle, a regular cycle, fast, fast, right? Or is it going to be a permanent press cycle, uh, uh, the hybrid, fast, slow? Ask yourself that question. What kind of a cycle is it? And that's going to give you a nice guide on where you want to go. So that's it, my friends. I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thanks so much for checking it out. Look, I try to make this as clear and understandable as possible. I want you guys to receive the maximum amount of value that I can give you. So you can go out there and you can clean with confidence. That's, that's the whole purpose of this channel, right? That's why I make these videos. So if you did find it valuable, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Give a big clean with confidence thumbs up, you know. And until next time, I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you.